Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you and keep you safe. I have a message today that I really don't want to share. But I must bring the messages of the Lord. I cannot keep quiet. I must let people know the warnings of the Lord. My heart is sad. And I'm sad because there's only a few pastors that I listen to. But one of them is changing in a negative way. He's from Canada. If you notice, in the last month or so, I posted two dreams that I received from the Lord concerning the church. In those two dreams, the Lord showed me a pastor, which in those videos I didn't mention his name. I didn't want to accept what the Lord showed me. I was in denial. And I asked the Lord, why Lord, why Ham? When I received the first dream, I pray about it. And I asked the Lord, if that's true, to give me confirmation. And He did. He gave me a second dream. I posted both dreams on this channel, but in those videos I didn't mention the name of the pastor. But now, I'm going to tell you his name. The name of the pastor is David Lean. I'm going to ask you to please pray for him. And the reason why I need to bring this message out is because I saw a few videos on YouTube. It brought great concern. It took me a minute to realize where I was looking. And it came to mind the dreams that the Lord showed me concerning Pastor David Lean. In the videos, I saw Pastor David Lean with Marcus Royers. Marcus Royers, he's also a pastor. That's what many call him. I call him wolf dressed in cheap clothing because the Lord warned many times about this so-called pastor. He's leading many astray. He's not for the Lord. When you look at him, he looks humble, he looks nice, but he's not what he appears he is. For the Lord Jesus Christ showed me many dreams. Marcus Rogers is evil and he's taking many astray. I'm going to read the dreams that the Lord gave me concerning Marcus Rogers. And I'm also going to read the dreams that the Lord just recently gave me concerning Pastor David Lean. The dream that I'm going to share now is one of so many dreams that the Lord gave me concerning Marcus Rogers. In the dream, I was walking to Marcus Rogers' place. It looked like a party. Heavy metal came to mind. I saw many people going inside of Marcus Rogers' place. It looked like a house from the outside. I remember I was walking with two of my friends. I didn't want to go inside, but in the spirit I knew there was something that I needed to find out. I saw Marcus. He was walking on the outside, a distance from me. He kept an eye on me. He was like encouraging me to go inside of his place. He kept on surrounding me from a distance. He couldn't touch me. He couldn't get close to me. He was so excited for me to go inside of that place. And he kept jumping from one place to the other, hiding behind the trees like wolves do when they're trying to catch a prey. As I was getting closer to the entrance door, I heard a voice that said, do not go inside. I believe that was the voice of the Lord. So I acted like I was going inside, but I didn't. And this fool Rogers, he got mad. He was so upset because I didn't go inside. He couldn't do anything. It was like he was not allowed to harm me. So I left that place. As I was walking away, I saw there was a lot of people walking out with me. I don't know if those people were leaving the place, but there were a lot of people which I couldn't count. I remember I look around and I couldn't see one of my friends. And I ask, where is, and I mentioned the name of my friend, which her name was erased from my memory after I woke up. As I was looking for her, I look back and I saw her leaving Roger's place. And I also saw the most disgusting thing 
I saw a couple having sex right outside of Roger's place. These people were having sex right in front of everyone, like they didn't care who was watching them. I saw them and I turned away. Immediately, I knew in the spirit that inside of Marcus Rogers' place, there was nothing but evil. Then the Lord woke me up from the dream. I'm going to explain a second dream that the Lord gave me a while back. I want to share this dream because then it goes with the first dream that I just explained to you. In this dream, I remember I was walking in this place. In the spirit, I knew that it was the house of Marcus Rogers. The house had a lot of spaces. And as I was walking outside of the house, I saw Marcus Rogers talking to a young lady. She looked in her 20s. He was talking to her with sweet words, saying jokes. He was twitching and jumping. It seemed like everything he was saying was a joke. And the lady kept laughing and enjoying his talk. When I looked at the face of the lady, I realized that I knew her. And I said, no, not her. I knew she had a YouTube channel. And in her channel, she was telling people about the Word of God. And I knew she was a good girl. She was a good lady. But this guy was misleading her. And I said, no, not her. So I turned around and I was going to tell her not to trust in Marcus Rogers. And as I was walking, I made a turn in the corner. And there was Marcus Rogers. He was waiting for me. He knew I was coming. He looked mad. And I asked him, how can you do this? In the spirit, I was able to feel his evil spirit. This guy has the power to bring people near him. He's able to sweet talk to people and make people fall for his lies. Stay away from him. Then he said something, but I can't remember what he said. And I told him, my father is coming back soon. And he tried to stop me. And I stretched my arm out and I said, stop. And I had tears on my eyes. And I said, I am the daughter of God. And you are a disgrace. When I said the word disgrace, it was loud. It was like, it was magnified. And I left the place. And that was the end of the dream. If you understand the message of these two dreams, you must know why I feel so sad. I'm not here to bring anyone down. But if the Lord gives me messages with warnings, I need to warn the church. I'm not afraid. I know the Lord. I know when He speaks to me. It is written, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. It is also written in Matthew chapter 10, verse 27, where I tell you in the dark, speak in the daylight. What is whispered in your ear, proclaim on the rooftops. What the Lord shows me in dreams and visions, I must bring the message. Either you like it or not, I must do the work of my Father. My job is to warn people. Most of the pastors that are supposed to teach the, the ways of the Lord, they are not doing their job. And that concerns me. Who will stand for the Lord and speak the truth? What is written? Because it's not what we think that is right, but what the Lord knows that is right. If we don't understand something, we ask the Lord. At times it seems like I'm going against millions of people. But it's okay, because I don't stand alone. The Lord Jesus Christ stands with me. There are a lot of things that are hidden, but everything will come out to the light when the time comes. For my father, nothing is impossible. I feel sad for the people that are being taken astray. Those pastors are not teaching the word of God. They are not correcting the people. Some of them, they sugarcoat the word of God. That means that they only teach people, only the good things, but they don't teach about repentance. They don't, they don't tell people there's a place called hell. And the sooner or later, we're going to have to give account to the Lord. There's going to be only two places where we're going to spend eternity. And that's either heaven or hell. And we must choose now, for tomorrow is not promised. I'm going to share the dream that the Lord showed me about Pastor David Lean. Please listen. And I ask that you please pray for him. 
In the dream, I saw a group of people. In the spirit, I knew that these people were Christians. They were celebrating something. They looked like those group of people that get together to talk about the Word of God. I remember I saw a lady. I knew in the spirit that this lady was the wife of the pastor, the one in charge of that congregation. I noticed she was dressed not very decent. She had pants on and the top was covering very little of her skin. She kept moving and I didn't pay much attention. Then I kept looking around. I saw a lot of people. Some of those people wanted to follow the Lord. I knew in the spirit that they wanted to know, they wanted to learn the ways of the Lord. They looked like decent people. As I was looking around, I saw again the wife of the pastor. But this time I saw her closely. She was closer to me. And I was so disappointed. I looked at her and I noticed that she had pants on. But the top, which I thought that it was covering very little of her skin, this time it was just covering part of her breasts. She was showing her upper skin. I said out loud, you evil ones, you were for Satan, your father. I noticed she didn't care. She was shameless. I said some other things, but I can remember what I told her. I remember that I kept walking and I saw this pastor. This pastor was Pastor David Lean. Here, the dream got a little confused. In the dream, I was trying to explain to this pastor about the wife of the pastor. As I was trying to explain, I was looking for the pastor, the husband of the lady that was halfway naked. I kept looking around, then I look at the pastor again. And I was trying to explain to, and I said, you are the husband, you are the husband of that lady. And it was like the dream shifted. Then I saw a lady sitting down. I knew in the spirit that this lady was from church. A guy was trying to open her blouse. He didn't want to touch her. He didn't want to touch the lady. But she was showing her private parts. And then the Lord woke me up from the dream. Pay attention to the warnings that the Lord is given. Many people depend on these pastors to hear the word of God. But these pastors are not leading the people in the right path, for they are not correcting the people. They are becoming numb to the truth. Many pastors sugarcoat the Word of God. Remember, remember the Word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing the soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. The Word of God is correction, and we all need to be corrected. And many don't like correction. They want to do what it pleases them. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. The Lord has been warning me to be ready. He is coming back for his people, and we must be ready. Repent of your sins daily and stay in the narrow path. It's not easy, but it's not impossible either. I pray that people open their eyes to see the truth, ears to hear the truth. And I pray that the hearts be softened so that they come to repentance before it's too late. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.